Okay, so I now want to look at, first of all, how to round this number from this float value into a whole number, uh, and then convert that into an integer if necessary, all using vex. Very, very straightforward. I'm gonna use a function called rint. Rint means round to integer, I think. Uh, I assume that's what it means anyway. And um, let me uh, first of all do this. So it's going to be uh, f um, at, and let's use the test fit again. So we're just carrying on from this. And I want to round this, his meat point into the screen like you can see me. So I want to round this number here to its closest whole number. Uh, so let me use the rint value. And it says rounds the number to the closest whole number. Oh, okay, I'm cool with that now. And uh, and what am I going to put in here? This time I'm going to put in this test fit. Okay, so let's put the test fit in there. So this is the value that I want to replace. And there we go. So I've now got these numbers now as whole numbers. Cool, right? Um, now maybe I don't want it as a float value still, so I've still got this 10.0, 9.0, maybe I just want it to be 10. Uh, and the way I know to do this, I'll show you quickly, um, I might not be 100% correct here, and, and if there is an easier way or a better way, please let me know below. Um, but the way I would do it is I would start here by creating the test fit attribute as an integer, okay? And now you can see the value has changed. It is giving me a few errors here though. Uh, these errors says implicit cast from float to integer. The reason is that it's reading this information here as a float, and uh, but it's actually an integer that it thinks that's coming in. So I can actually change the cast of this. And I just before the information that I've written here, the expression, what I'm gonna do is put this int cast, which basically says that this should be an, an integer okay so I've done that there the cast and again here and you can see that those error messages have now disappeared and I've still got my integer now again I might not have explained that well I'm, I'm a bit kind of foggy myself into how that works exactly so if anybody wants to write some information down below and I, I will at some point try to update or create a new a new uh, video for this I'm happy to do that um, but uh, that's how I would do it anyway just with me messing around with Vex that's how I figured to do it um, anyway you guys are great and have a great day bye bye